this module, we're going to talk about what pros do that rookies don't. And I'm going to narrow this down to two things that I think are very important, although there's probably a lot of things. But here are two things that I think are very important uh, that will separate the rookies from the pros. Number one is um, pros will test multiple video creatives. And this is very important. Um, you've probably heard me say this. You've probably heard other people in ad, sk uh, ad skills say this, but um, content or your video ad is everything in YouTube ads. And just to give you an example, I have uh, we've been running a campaign where um, one video creative is absolutely crushing it. Um, I introduced another uh, to test, and it just did not convert at all. Right, so let's say it was vice versa where I actually tested the one that wasn't converting. I, you know, maybe you would have wanted to just give up on this offer, but it just shows you the stark difference of how having the right creative um, means everything. And with me and my team at this point, we have ideas about what makes creative good, but we honestly, never really know until we test. I mean, we, we're, we're getting pretty keen at picking up on signals or our, our opinions are getting a little more accurate. Uh, but a lot of times we're, we're still even surprised. Like I'll see stuff failed that I really thought was going to be strong. And then other stuff that I thought was so, so is, you know, uh, ends up surprising me. So, uh, important, it's important to test, um, different creative and in advertising we all know this that that uh, split testing um, is everything but when it comes to YouTube a lot of times I feel like people they just don't want to um, go through that process of making multiple YouTube videos they see it uh, as too labor intensive uh, but what we've tried to do for you in this course especially uh, in the modules uh, um, that Bobby Hicks has done is really give you some formulas uh, to make creative easier for you. Now, the second thing uh, that that is huge is getting your tracking right. Uh, YouTube is very uh, it's algorithmically driven. Um, so one thing that you know has given us problems is just getting the tracking dialed in, and I think it happens to you know, just everyone out there advertising. That's, you know, one of the biggest pains, uh, <laughs> pains in the butt for us overall. And, and advertising is getting our tracking accurate because, you know, you could be working on so many different types of systems. You could be an affiliate working, um, you know, and has offers or link trust and, you know, maybe the, the tracking is just not working right, you know, for some reason that could be, you know, the way that uh, the offer owner has it set up. Uh, we've encountered that, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, could be your own offer and, you know, JavaScript a lot of times doesn't fire due to cookie blockers. Um, so that is why you really want to look um, at the tracking courses uh, by ad skills. Um, I know they get into some deeper stuff like collecting GCLIDs, which to me, all the tracking stuff is the most, um, it's not the exciting part of what we do. It's not fun, really. Um, but what can happen in Google, though, or really any, uh, you know, heavily uh, algorithmic platform like Google or Facebook is that imagine your, your tracking is off by, let's say, 30%. And that is very common. Um, and Google is, is sending traffic to, you know, it's looking for all these signals, um, you know, to see who has the strongest intent to buy. Um, it's trying to get the ads in front of those people. But um, if your pixel doesn't fire, uh, you know, maybe Google found they have found some signals that they think, oh, this is strong buying intent. Uh, but then if your pixel's not firing, that person buys from you, but yet you're telling Google they did not buy. So um, that really hurts the, uh, the algo as you try to scale. Uh, we've seen that hurt us, and we've had to kind of go back to the drawing board and uh, do whatever uh, necessary um, to get our tracking dialed in. And a lot of times that involves, you know, uh, doing it the hard way um, as compared to the easy way, like, um, you know, capturing GCLIDs, like, uh, you know, John Belcher details in his tracking course and uploading those, 
versus the easy way of just putting the pixel there. Um, and you know, you may decide to live with the tracking di discrepancy, but over the long run, it'll kind of catch up with you and really hurt your campaign. So if you want to scale to that next level, uh, definitely um, you want to always try to, to do everything you can to get your tracking as accurate as possible.